Pulong de Nagarit. Pulong de Nagarit, 1260 13, April 1313, was a French statesman, counselor, and keeper of the seal to Philip Roman IV of France. Early life Nagarit was born in St. Felix Lorigais, Haute Garonne. The family held a small ancestral property of servile origin at Nagarit, near St. Felix de Caraman today's St. Felix Lorigais from which it took its name. In 1291, Galon was professor of jurisprudence at the University of Montpellier, and in 1296, he became a member of the Curia Regis at Paris. From 1306, he was a seigneur of Marcelargues, Calvison, Ajargues, and Congenies in Languedoc. Counselor to Philip Roman IV, his name is mainly connected with the quarrel between Philip Roman IV and Pope Boniface Roman VIII. In 1300 he was sent with an embassy to Boniface, of which he left a picturesque and highly colored account. His influence over the king dates from February 1303, when he persuaded Philip to consent to the bold plan of seizing Boniface and bringing him forcibly from Italy to a council in France meant to depose him. On 7 March he received, with three others, a secret commission from the royal chancery to go to certain places, and make such treaties with such persons as seemed good to them. On 12 March a solemn royal assembly was held in the Louvre, at which Guillaume de Nagarit read a long series of accusations against Boniface, and demanded the calling of a general council to try him. Attack on the Pope Soon afterwards, he went to Italy. By the aid of a Florentine spy, Nagarit gathered a band of adventurers and of enemies of the Gitani Boniface's family in the Apennines. The great Colonna house, in a bitter feud with the Gitani, was his strongest ally, and Sire Colonna accompanied Nagarit to Anagni, Boniface's birthplace. On 7 September, with their band of some 1,600 men, Nagarit and Colonna surprised the little town. Boniface was taken prisoner. Sire wished to kill him, but Nagarit's policy was to take him to France and compel him to summon a general council. An army led by King Philip's minister Nagarit and Sire Colonna attacked Boniface at his palace in Anagni next to the cathedral. The Pope responded with a bull dated 8 September 1303, in which Philip and Nagarit were excommunicated. The French Chancellor and the Colonnas demanded the Pope's resignation. Boniface Roman VIII responded that he would sooner die. In response, Colonna allegedly slapped Boniface, a slap historically remembered as the Chiafodi Anagni Anagni slap. The tide soon turned, however. On the ninth, a concerted rising of the townsmen in support of Boniface put Nagarit and his allies to flight, and the Pope was free. His death at Rome on 11 October saved Nagarit. The election of the timid Benedict Roman XI was the beginning of the triumph of France that lasted through the Avignon captivity. Early in 1304, Nagaret went to Languedoc to report to Philip Roman IV and was rewarded by gifts of land and money. Then he was sent back with an embassy to Benedict Roman XI to demand absolution for all concerned in the struggle with Boniface Roman VIII. Benedict refused to meet Nagaret, accepted him from the general absolution, he granted on 12 May 1304, and on 7 June issued against him and his associates at Anagni, the bull Flegitiosum Celis. Nagaret replied with apologies for his conduct. French influence led to a Frenchman, Bertrand de Gott Clement V, being elected as Benedict's successor. The threat of proceedings against the memory of Boniface was renewed to force Clement to absolve Nagaret, and Clement had given way on this point when the further question of an inquiry into the condition of the Knights Templar was brought forward by Philip as a preliminary to their arrest and the seizure of their property in October 1307. Nagaret was active in getting the renegade members of the order to give evidence against their fellows, and the proceedings against them bear traces of his unscrupulous and merciless pen. Clement's weak and ineffective resistance to this still further delayed the agreement between him and Philip. Nagaret had become keeper of the seal that year in succession to Pierre de Belleperch. His talents as an advocatus diaboli were given still further employment in the trial of Gichard, Bishop of Troyes, charged with various crimes, including witchcraft and unchastity. 
The trial, which began in 1308 and lasted till 1313, was a hint to Clement as to what might happen if the oft-repeated threat of a trial of Boniface were carried out. Absolution was obtained from Clement on 27 April 1311. Coulomb de Nogaret was to go on the next crusade and visit certain places of pilgrimage in France and Spain as a penance, but never did so. He died in 1313 with his tongue horribly thrust out, according to the chronicler Jean de Snowels. He retained the seals till his death, and was occupied with the king's affairs concerning Flanders as late as the end of March 1313. Literature Nagaret is a major character in Lesroy's Maudits the Accursed Kings, a series of historical novels by Maurice Duan, which were adapted into a television miniseries in 1972 and again in 2005.